Hey guys, I'm going to go over classifying triangles with algebra. Um, so this is the same type of thing. It'll tell you what it is. Uh, you use your knowledge of that in order to set up the problem. So this one says it's an equilateral, which means all the sides are the same. Now this specifically says to solve for x. So we're going to need the x and then this side. And they're going to be equal to each other. If you have to solve for y, you could have set these two equal to each other. Because on an equilateral, all the sides are equal. So 3x plus 1 equals 49. Subtract 1 from both sides. 3x is equal to 48. Divide by 3 on both sides. And x is 16. All right, on this one, it is also an equilateral, and it says to solve for x. So it doesn't matter which two sides you choose. You choose any two sides, and you set them equal to each other. I will typically use the ones with these smaller numbers on them, just because smaller numbers are usually easier. But it really doesn't matter. You just pick two and set them equal to each other. So 4x minus 25 is equal to x plus 14. Subtract x from both sides. 3x minus 25 is equal to 14. Add 25 to both sides. 3x is equal to 39. Then divide both sides by 3. So x is 13. And then it also says find the measure of each side. Well, all the sides are the same. So it doesn't matter which equation you plug it into you just plug it into one and all three sides will be the same measure so np is going to be equal to mp and that will also be equal to mn and i'm going to plug it into this one because it would be the easiest to do 13 plus 14 is a lot easier math um, so that means all of my sides are 27 Oops. Now this one says it's an isosceles and specifically DE is congruent to EF. So DE is this side and EF is this side. Those are the two you have to make equal to each other. On isosceles you have to make sure that it's the two sides that are actually equal to each other. You cannot set the bottom one equal to any of the other ones. Subtract 5x from both sides. 3x minus 13 is equal to 17. Add 13 to both sides. 3x is equal to 30. Divide by 3. And x is equal to 10. And then I need to find the measure of each side. Each side, sorry. Well, DE is equal to EF, which means I just need to plug it into one of those. Those are the two that I circled already. So 5 times 10 plus 17 is 50 plus 17, which is 67. And then I will have to plug it into the bottom one, which is DF. Um, so that would be 10 plus 21, which makes DF 31. Now this one is an equilateral triangle. It's not drawn for you, but it tells you it's an equilateral, which means you choose any two and set them equal. Again, I normally do the ones with the smaller numbers just to make life easier. Subtract 15x from both sides. 3x plus 1 is equal to 10. Subtract 1 from both sides. 3x is equal to 9, then divide both sides by 3, so x is 3. And then we have to find the measure of each side. Well, this is an equilateral triangle, so they're all equal to each other. And you just choose one, it doesn't matter which one, and you plug it in. Um, I'm going to do the 15 just because it's smaller. So 15 times 3 plus 10 would be 45 plus 10, so 55 for all three sides. 
All right, this one's an isosceles, and it tells you specifically MK is congruent to ML. So I have to use this one, and I have to use this one. I cannot use the other one. Those two are the two that are equal to each other. So 10x minus 42 is equal to 7x minus 15. Subtract 7x from both sides. Add 42 to both sides. That's 27. Divide both sides by 3, and x is 9. And then I have to find the measure of each side. Well, the two that are circled are the same. So mk is equal to ml. And for me, it's easier to deal with tens, so I'm going to do the 10. I know the other one is smaller numbers, but tens are easier. So 90 minus 42 is 48 for those two sides. And then I have to plug it into KL, which is 4 times 9 minus 45, so 30, oh, minus 5. Uh, 36 minus 5 is 31. And that's the end of our notes.